Are you serious? Are you serious? Let's just take a look into the bowels of CERN. The CERN. Are you concerned about the CERN? Well, you probably should be. Uh, Europe's physics lab, the CERN, back on March the 12th, it began tests in preparation for rebooting the world's biggest particle collider and trying to uncover new particles that could alter our understanding of the universe. We're really excited because we're entering a new phase, said the CERN's director, General Rolf Hauer, uh, as he told reporters in Geneva. Now, CERN's a large Haldron collider went offline back in February of 2013 after doing this kind of a test during the Mayan calendar. They, they, ramp, they ramped this thing up 75% of the speed of light and they had to back it down. There were demons being seen. People were losing their mind for two weeks after this thing reached just 75%. Uh, this giant lab houses 27 kilometer tunnel. Can you imagine this? straddling the French and Swiss border, flushed out the so-called God particle by crashing proton beams um, at, uh, literally folks, at speeds nearly the speed of light, up to 75%. Now, after nearly doubling the energy levels that are possible in this collider, CERN scientists have their sights set on finding exotic new particles in previously inaccessible realm. Now, they have done some testing in the last few days, reaching some speeds not, not nearly as fast as they're going to get it. They really wanted to get to 99.9% .9 the speed of light, and they were hoping to do it on Friday the 20th during the solar eclipse of the sun. Also, the super moon, a lot of gravitational pull, the spring equinox. Are you serious? First day of the Jewish calendar, Nissan. What? And a geomagnetic storm surrounding the earth. There, all the stars were in alignment, all the planets, all the moon, the stars. But they had some issues during the testing. They found some new particles in a rare decays of B particles, but those particles which contain what's called the beauty mark. Um, well, it, it, they decided to not go full speed yet. They had some concerns over at the CERN, but they are going to do it, and they're going to crank it up. They're going to they're going to run. They're going to go for broke. The CERN plans to reboot the machine within the next two weeks, allowing beams containing billions of protons traveling at 99.9% .9 the speed of light to shoot through this massive ring-shaped collider. Now, by the end of May, the mighty machine should be calibrated to reach energy levels, allowing the long-awaited proton collisions. A brief but super intense smash-ups recorded in four labs dotted around the ring to begin. So, this collider, previous highest power of 8 TV, reached in 2012, is expected to get to 13 TV, and maybe even 14 TV. They're wanting to get to 99.9% .9 the speed of light, and then crash these protons and see what actually happens. Now, we're, we're hearing that the pressure that it will put on the human brain could affect the thought process, even the mood elevations. It may be able to force strange manipulations past the frontal lobes. In other words, we may see people, especially in Switzerland, France, even parts of Europe, Germany, that might actually be reacting in ways that are could be quite violent uh, or f frightful. Um, this happened three years ago. Uh, we're going to continue to watch. They said people seen demons, spirits. Walk. Are they opening the gates of hell here? Are they are they trying to do what God has warned against? 
Remember Nimrod, he tried to climb into the heavens. These guys seem like they want to crawl into the pits of hell. Either way, what could CERN bring? Will it, can, it, can they actually pass into another dimension? And what will be the ramifications if CERN reaches, if it, and here's another one. Could CERN create a burn? Could CERN create a burn? I'm talking about burn in the ozone. Could CERN burn, catch the ozone layers on fire? Instead of a ring underground, you'd have a ring of fire. Um, we'll keep an eye on it, okay? We'll keep you up to speed. Don't miss tonight's live broadcast. We're going to be talking about Planet X, Nubaru, Planet 7X, the Dwarf Star with um, Gil Brazard. And is Planet X going to be visible next year? Well, we're going to ask him. He's got dates on what he believes based on biblical time frames and scientific records and calculations. We're going to find out. Don't miss tonight. It starts at 7 p.m. Eastern. At 7 p.m. Eastern. And my website, www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's Sunday Night Live. Don't miss it.